Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many robots does it take to make a playlist? Are you looking for a way to put that old iPod Touch to good use? And how many melons make the web a safer place? Could my voice have jumped any higher? I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report. Thanks again for liking this video. Be sure to check out the links we've provided in the show notes for more information on any of the following clips. You click them. That's how links work. My favorite robot would have to be Keanu Reeves. Well, at least his acting is robot-like. What geek worth his or her salt doesn't have a soft spot for robots? I still have a soft spot in my head. A soft spot waiting to be crushed by a cold, uncaring robot fist. Over at LockerGnome.com, Bob Fogarty details his top 10 favorite songs about robots. Go ahead and take a listen. See if you disagree with his list. Leave a comment if you have another favorite song about robots, and maybe he can extend it into a top 20 list. What's your favorite robot? I'm trying to do the robot dance, but honestly, don't know how it goes. Our YouTube comment of the day is from Con Tutorials, who commented on our recent iPad, podcasting, Google Music, and Crazy Dancing episode. How do I comment? Derp! Did you know the iPod Touch is currently being used by retailers and restaurants alike as a POS device? POS, of course, is short for point of sale, not piece of in this instance. There are many different ways to put an iPod Touch to good use, both at home and at the office. And these uses don't involve birds who get upset when you catapult them. Matt Ryan outlines five interesting uses for the iPod Touch in his article on LockerGnome.com. Can you think of any other possibilities? If you have an iPod Touch, what primary role does it fill? Our question of the day is being asked by XC4L on LockerGnome.net. In order to graduate from my high school, all seniors must complete a 60-plus hour project where they demonstrate some sort of new learning. I want to do something with computers and technology, but I'm not sure what. You know, I always wondered if using technology is making us stupider, or is that, is that dumber? Well, good luck. Maybe you can figure out a way to smartify my idea. Of course, you're also welcome to answer the question or ask your own on LockerGnome.net, and I might just answer it in the best way I know how in a forthcoming video. Did you hear that my girlfriend and I had voice changer augmentation surgery the other day? Here, take a listen to our Kindle Fire unboxing video about halfway through. I have no idea what happened. When we broadcast the video live on YouTube, things were perfect. Something went horribly wrong with YouTube's encoding of the broadcast. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Oh my God, it's happening again. No. If you didn't make it through the full video, my initial impressions of the Kindle Fire remained largely positive, although it's still a very rough experience. True to form for just about every Android tablet I've used to date. But it's not horrible. I mean, for $200, you really can't expect more than what Amazon's delivering in the Fire today. Now I need your help. Which Android apps should I be getting for this sucker? But wait! Before you answer, Ron's already come to my rescue! He's given me three must-have applications for my Amazon Kindle Fire. He posted that link on LockerGnome.com. That link also available in the show notes, just like I pointed out at the beginning of this video. So would you agree with his recommendations? I'm guessing you can't read his mind, though. Thank goodness you can still read the article on LockerGnome.com. Dog Whistler? I had no idea that was even an app. <coughs> Have you ordered an Amazon Kindle Fire yet? Were you even considering it? Before you make that leap, check out yet another article that Ron wrote about the Amazon Kindle Fire, or how to avoid the three mistakes he made. It's never too late, however, we're here to help. I'd show you more on my Kindle Fire right now, except that I, I wore out the battery because I used it too much. And let me tell you, they don't call it the fire for nothing. When you use it, it gets hot. <laughs> Do you know what it's time to change your furnace filter? And what about your dryer ducts? Have you cleaned them lately? Did you even know you had dryer ducts? 
Brightnest is a new web-based service that is a little bit like Mint, but for your house. Not only does Brightness tell you how to maintain your home, but they give you tips for saving money and living healthy. On LockerGnome.com, Kelly Clay had a chance to talk with the founders of Brightness, and we scored some invite codes for those of you who want to try the service for free. Our blog comment of the day is in response to pre-ordering gadgets of the future on Kickstarter, where Robbie writes, They're gadgets. Of course we will pre-order them. I imagine even cavemen had their spears on layaway. <laughs> Locker Gnome's Kelly Clay wanted me to ask Siri this. How do you do the Macarena? Let me think. How about a web search for how do you do the Macarena? Howdy McGee on YouTube wanted me to ask Siri this. What is 5 divided by 0? This might answer your question. Zanesfield on YouTube wanted me to ask Siri this. Will you be my friend? I'm not capable of love. <laughs> That's not what she said last night. What should I ask Siri next time? The web can be a scary place, especially if you freeze frame on this face I'm about to make. Silliness aside, be forewarned. People are buying and selling personal information every day. Sure, you could check your credit reports to make sure you're not a victim, but those services aren't the only ones that have access to your name, birth date, and or social security number. At LockerGnome.com, Kelly Clay shows how a new startup called MelonCard can help keep your data safe from the bad guys. It's not to say that it's always safe to share your data with the good guys or the ugly guys. Our backlink of the day is from Apollon, developer of hit iPhone apps such as Pimp Your Screen and Fit and Fugly. Sure glad they didn't use my face for that one. They linked back to one of our reviews the other day, and we appreciate the link love. Can't have enough links. Too far. Do you have a blog? Link back to one of our posts and we might feature it in a future video. Really, linking back to us is not that hard to do. Would you like to give back to your community this holiday season or any time of the year? Go Volunteer is a new social network that connects people who want to volunteer with organizations that need help. Currently, Go Volunteer is being used by dozens of nonprofits, schools, and even governments. In her new article on LockerGnome.com, Kelly has outlined productive ways you might use this new service to make your neighborhood a better place. Hey kids, get off my lawn! Last week we shared an article about SOPA, but did you happen to catch our Skype interview with Protect IP experts? It was uploaded to the Locker Gnome YouTube channel this weekend, and if you haven't already watched the video, you owe it to yourself as a citizen of the internet to listen and better understand how this legislation could do more to harm the internet than to help it. And here's a brief clip from that discussion. It's basically um, a set of legislation that started as an international um, negotiation between countries, theoretically, on how to um, update laws and uh, cut down on piracy. But what it, what it really has been um, is a set of tools for the content industry uh, to control the technology industry. Again, I strongly encourage you to watch and share the full video interview. You can either click the annotation or the link in the show notes. Here's a random question for you. Why is it that closed-minded people are given the ability to open their mouths? Our sponsor today is GoToManage from Citrix. You can use their free iPad app to remotely control countless computers. Head over to go.tagjag.com slash GoToManage and use the coupon code Perillo45 for an exclusive 45-day unlimited trial. If you're an IT pro, you can stay on the go with GoToManage. Do you know of something geeky we should be sharing with the rest of our community? You can submit your tip on LockerGnome.com or email me, chris at perillo.com. Our app of the day is LoopCam. If you ever visit my Google Plus profile page, you probably won't be able to scroll very far before seeing a fun little animated GIF, including animated GIFs made of me by fellow community member Kevin Staff. Like this one of me burning a CD. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm burning a CD. Because people talk about burning CDs, but they don't... 
usually mean with the... <clears throat> if you want to make your own animated GIFs on the go, Loop Cam makes it insanely simple. Either snapshots tap by tap, or press and hold the camera icon for a few seconds. The result is an animation that may be worth sharing with others. Let's see if this is going to be worth sharing. I have no idea. <laughs> and you thought these things died with MySpace. <laughs> As always, we've placed a link for this app in our show notes. You can follow me on all the social networks for app recommendations that aren't featured in our videos. Not all of which include annoying animations of me. This just in, I shook my money maker and people paid me to stop. The real punchline is I made enough to retire. Our Nomi of the Day is Dylan Bobo for participating with the community on Google Plus the other day. Kevin Shea created an animated GIF from this live video outtake. That's spam. That's spam. Spam, 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 spam. After Kevin shared the animated GIF, Dylan correctly identified the source and asked, do I win a prize? To which I responded, yes, you get to be Nomi of the Day. I know it's not that exciting, Dylan. You don't get a trophy or anything. No cake. It's okay. Cake was a lie anyway. But I've definitely seen you contributing to the community all over social media. So thanks for your support, Dylan. Would you like to be a featured Nomi of the Day? Don't be a stranger. Participate. Thanks again for liking this video. We welcome participation all across the web. Comments on LockerGnome.com, questions and answers on LockerGnome.net, and a regular amount of interaction on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and beyond. Feel free to drop me a line, too. My email is chris at perillo.com. And our chat room is open and geeking out 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. A soft spot waiting to be crushed by a cold, uncaring brute. <laughs>